So, dear students, so welcome back after the break. And uh, before the break, we were talking about uh, four basic configurations of uh, negative feedback system. And uh, we have seen the change of uh, the uh, system gain due to the uh, negative feedback. And uh, we have talked about the desensitization factor. Now, uh, we are going to talk about the um, effect of the feedback system on input resistance and output resistance as I have given a hint in the uh, previous part of this lecture. So, in the next slide, we do have uh, the corresponding uh, circuit diagram here and to start with, let you consider uh, a voltage amplifier and its feedback connection, it is shunt series or you can say voltage series feedback which means that this port it is shunt and here we do have a series connection here. So, if you see here at this port, um, uh, we do have the input port and uh, primary port and the feedback port, they are connected in series. So, uh, here of course, uh, while we like to see the change in input resistance and output resistance of the, uh, the amplifier, uh, we have to keep this in mind that we have to consider finite value of this input resistance and the corresponding output resistance. Uh, however, to start with for feedback network, let me consider uh, it is ideal situation, namely its input resistance it, it is infinite and uh, the out corresponding output resistance uh, here it is 0. So, here we do have open and here we do have 0 resistance. And uh, we'll see that uh, the input resistance of the feedback system uh, initially it was uh, R in, and now due to this series connection of the feedback network, we'll see the corresponding change, and we call the changed input resistance is R in F. Now uh, to get this uh, derivation of this input resistance of the feedback system let you consider that we are stimulating the circuit with a signal source called V s and we are observing the corresponding current entering into the port and let you call this is I s. And uh, then the um, input resistance of the feedback system are in F, it is defined by V s divided by the corresponding I s. To get this ratio, uh, let me consider the input port and then let me get the corresponding relationship. So, um, if you consider say uh, this port and if we are applying say V s here and if you consider V s actually it is equal to summation of V in and then corresponding feedback voltage V f. So, we can say V s equals to V in plus V f, which is uh, of course, V in plus the internally developed voltage which is, which is beta into V x. In fact, V x it is same as this voltage V o. So, we can say this is V in plus beta into V o. On the other hand, if I consider that this port it is open and here also it is open, then the voltage getting developed here V o, even though we do have R out, now the voltage here it is same as internally developed voltage namely A v into V in. So, we can further uh, consider this uh, expression of V s as V in plus beta into A v times V in. Right. On the other hand, if I say that I s current is flowing and it is entering to the circuit and we do have a resistance of R in and across this resistance R in we do have V in it is getting, getting developed. So, uh, we can say that V in equals to I s multiplied by R in. 
in other words we can say that V s equals to if I take V in common and then we do have 1 plus beta into A V and that is equal to I s into R in times 1 plus beta into A V and uh, that gives us the feedback systems input resistance R in F equals to V s divided by I s and using this relationship we can see that this is R in multiplied by 1 plus beta into A v. So, that is why uh, the feedback system input resistance it is uh, having this expression in terms of the input resistance of the forward amplifier and also the corresponding voltage gain and also uh, the uh, transfer function of the feedback uh, network. And of course, here we have assumed that the feedback circuit it is um, ideal one. So, we have considered input resistance of the feedback network it is infinite, output resistance of the feedback network it is 0 and also it is uh, uh, load we consider this is uh, infinite. So, we consider load of the circuit it is infinite. Now, let you consider that uh, in, uh, in practical situation where uh, definitely there may be a finite load R L and due to which the voltage available here at this port it may not be same as internally developed voltage and in that situation what may be the corresponding change. So, to start with let me consider R L it is finite. So, if we put say R L here and then the voltage here V O in fact, this is same as V x also. So, V x is equal to V O equals to A V times V in multiplied by R L divided by R L plus R out. Right? Or we can uh, rearrange this equation and we may say that this is equal to A V dash multiplied by V in where A V dash is A V multiplied by R L divided by R L plus R out or we can say this is load affected gain of the amplifier A V and rest of the analysis it is remaining same namely if we consider V s which is summation of V in plus uh, V f which is beta times V x and then expression of the V um, x it is given here and from that you can see this is equal to V in plus beta into A V dash into V in. And of course, um, uh, we also have relationship uh, between um, V in and uh, I s. So, V in equals to I s multiplied by R in. So, using this relationship and this relationship we can uh, find that the corresponding input resistance of this circuit we call say R in f and it, so it is remaining very similar to this equation except this A v need to be changed by A v dash. So, we can say that we are finding this new uh, expression of the input resistance where A v dash it is defined here. So, uh, likewise if I consider say um, resistance here also in case if I consider finite resistance of the feedback network. So, if I say that this is having some finite value called R in beta 
then uh, the corresponding voltage here getting developed here across this R L and R in beta they are coming in parallel. So, then uh, the, the voltage here instead of uh, A v into um, v in into R L it will be R L coming in parallel with R in uh, beta. So, likewise here also we will be having R in beta coming in parallel with R L and of course, we do have this R out in series. So, we may say that the corresponding um, uh, expression of V x it will be say A v double dashed and the expression of A v double dashed it is A v multiplied by R l coming in parallel with R in beta and in the denominator here also we do have R in beta coming in parallel with R l. So, let me write the expression of A v dashed rather A v double dashed in presence of uh, R in beta and R l it is equal to internal voltage gain A v multiplied by R l coming in parallel with R in beta divided by R out plus R l coming in parallel with R in beta. So, uh, again uh, the relationship here uh, uh, between uh, input resistance of the feedback system and uh, uh, without feedback it is remaining similar uh, except this A v need to be replaced by A v uh, double dashed and its expression it is given here. So, uh, if I on the other hand if I consider uh, the output resistance of the feedback network also namely if I say that R out of beta network it is non zero. So, if I consider this resistance and uh, if I say that this is R out beta uh, in that case whatever the uh, relationship we said here it will be um, very similar, uh, but of course, then this R out it is coming into picture and um, the voltage coming here V in it will not be um, same as whatever the voltage we do have. Uh, so, what we will be getting here it is this beta part, beta part it is also getting uh, load affected namely the, the voltage here it is not only say this voltage uh, but rather of course, this voltage will be there, but also we have to consider this drop. So, the beta is also getting affected and the corresponding beta need to be changed by considering this load and uh, so then the corresponding beta here need to be uh, changed and in fact, we also have this resistance coming in series. So, we have to consider this R out beta also in the series. So, uh, if I consider both this and this uh, are uh, having say practical value then the expression of uh, the input resistance uh, of the feedback system it is coming in this form, where um, it is uh, the expression includes R in multiplied by 1 plus beta dashed and then A v double dashed and then plus uh, R in uh, of the uh, feedback network uh, sorry R out of the feedback network. So, uh, here um, what we have seen that um, uh, the the series connection the series connection it is making the input resistance getting increased by whatever the desensitization factor either we consider in this case or this case or this case uh, and uh, uh, also uh, you may uh, you might have observed that uh, it is independent of uh, this port situation so in case if we have a circuit where uh, say this part the mixer part it is series, but then if uh, this port it is different namely series that means 
if it is um, uh, current sampling and then series feedback, then also we will be getting we are expecting that input resistance it will be uh, increased by uh, so called desensitivity factor. So, let us look into uh, the corresponding circuit there. Okay. So, uh, here we do have uh, transconductance amplifier and um, what we have uh, what we have here it is uh, input it is of course, in the form of voltage and since it is transconductance here the signal output signal it is current and of course, the amplifier gain need to be replaced by transconductance uh, uh, amplif amplification and the feedback system of course, it should be um, appropriately modified signal here you are sensing is current and then here of course, mixing in series. So, the feedback system it is current series feedback or we can say it is series series feedback. Here again to start with we consider practical value of R in and R out, but uh, we are keeping the feedback network uh, ports are um, I should say ideal namely the input resistance here it is 0 and on the, on the other hand output resistance it is also remaining 0. And why it is uh, this input port is 0? That is because uh, now the signal here it is uh, in the form of current. So, to avoid loading effect namely to absorb the maximum current within this circuit <coughs> to sense it, uh, we have to make the input resistance to be 0. Also, uh, you might have observed that uh, since the signal here it is in the form of current and to avoid loading effect, we are considering uh, the, uh, the output resistance it is 0. So, uh, if this is 0 uh, resistance and this is also 0 resistance, we can say that uh, the whatever the current we do have internally developed current that is entirely flowing through this because the drop across this R out is a 0. So, if I say that drop across this um, R out since it is 0. So, that gives us uh, I out I O equals to G M into V in. So, that you have to keep in mind. So, we are receiving the maximum current and hence we can see that this is providing unloaded situation. And uh, then uh, to start with to find the relationship uh, between uh, this V s and I s to get the uh, expression of R in f the input resistance of the feedback system which is defined by V s by I s we start with this relationship of say V s equals to V in plus V f. So, we can say V s equals to V in plus V f, but uh, we do have the expression of V f which is equal to beta into I x. So, this is V in um, plus beta into I x and in fact, I x it is same as I o. So, we can say that this is V in plus beta into I o and uh, the expression of I o in terms of V in it is G m into V in. So, then V s equals to V in plus beta into G m into V in. And uh, so, that gives us V s equals to V in multiplied by 1 plus beta into G m. And uh, if the V s it is flowing through this R in, uh, we, we have as we have done last time in the previous slide, uh, the V in equals to R in into I s. So, we can write this is as I s into R in multiplied by 1 plus beta into G m. 
So, from that we can find the expression of um, input resistance of the feedback system. So, this is becoming R in multiplied by 1 plus beta into G f. So, that is the expression of the input resistance. Again input resistance it is getting amplified by this desensitization factor. Uh, uh, however, the difference here it is instead of A V we do have G M here and uh, also we though we are writing this is beta, but um, you have to be careful that or you should be aware that this beta converts current to voltage, which means that this beta it is not unitless rather uh, it is its unit it is ohm and uh, G M it, uh, unit of the G M it is mo. So, these two together it is giving unitless factor. Okay, so, that is how uh, here the input resistance it is getting amplified by this feedback mechanism. Uh, now, if I consider uh, the um, these two um, are having some practical value, uh, then uh, say for example, okay, if I consider uh, the uh, we do have some resistance here and if I call this is R in beta and if I say this is non zero. So, uh, then it is expected that uh, some part of this uh, current internally developed current it will be flowing through uh, this circuit and uh, part of the current it will be flowing through this circuit. So, uh, likewise in case if I consider R L uh, here. So, um, uh, again um, part of the uh, current. So, if this R L it is non zero, so that will enforce some additional uh, some current it will be flowing through this R out and only part of uh, the current it will be flowing through this uh, the uh, output port. So, just to start with if I consider say R L is non zero, but say R in of beta is 0 and then we will consider the other case. So, if I consider this case then uh, I O I O it is um, G M into V in multiplied by R out divided by R L plus R out. And again you may say that this is equal to G m dashed load affected G m into V in where G m dashed equals to G m multiplied by R out divided by R L plus R out. So, uh, now we are we are having this uh, relationship between uh, this I O and uh, V in uh, and we know that this I x it is same as uh, this I O. So, we can say that V f equals to beta into I x and I x it is I O and that is equal to beta into G m dashed into V in. Now, using this equation we can go back to uh, this input port to get the expression of V s equals to V in plus V f and V f it is beta into G m dashed into V in. So, that gives us V s in terms of V in and 1 plus beta into G m dashed and also uh, we know that I s uh, equals to. So, we know that uh, I s rather I s multiplied by R in is equal to V in. So, V in equals to I s into uh, R in. So, if I put the expression of I in here and then you can find 
are in f which is defined by v s by i s and that is becoming r, r, r in multiplied by 1 plus beta into g m dashed. So, if we have this load practical load then the corresponding um, input resistance it is also uh, uh, also having the similar kind of expression as we have seen before only difference is that we have to consider load affected gain a uh, g m dashed. Now, if we have say uh, along with r l uh, non zero if you also have uh, uh, r in beta uh, non zero uh, in that case you have to consider these two uh, components together. So, to find the um, i naught to find the i naught now um, instead of considering uh, this i naught expression only r out and r l you also have to consider along with this r l you also have to consider r in beta in series right. And um, if I consider that so since we do have some more modification so we can say that this is g m dash where g m double dash equals to g m multiplied by r out divided by r l plus r in beta plus r out right and uh, then um, in the in the expression of um, r in f what we will be getting here it is um, uh, r in multiplied by 1 plus beta into g m double dash. Now, uh, if I consider that this is also non zero. So, obviously, at the input port we do have some effect. So, uh, the, the voltage coming here it will not be uh, really same as this voltage and this voltage. Uh, we do have some drop across this r out uh, beta also. And if I consider that, um, so either we may say that beta is getting affected or we may consider this is coming in series. So, if I s is flowing in fact, I s it is flowing through this also and uh, then uh, you may say that uh, this r out beta it is coming in series with whatever the resistance we do have. Right? So, um, that is uh, uh, that is giving us the change of input resistance uh, and again uh, since it is a series connection here series connection of the feedback circuit uh, at the in, in the mixer. Uh, so, we may say that the input resistance it is getting increased by this factor desensitization factor. Now, uh, let you consider the other situation namely uh, if the mixer it is um, having a parallel connection. Uh, which means that signal here instead of voltage if it is current then we can see what kind of changes we do have. So, probably we can start uh, with say uh, current amplifier. So, in the next slide we can see the change of input resistance of a current amplifier having feedback. So, yeah. So, we do have uh, current uh, current amplifier. Um, and uh, again uh, we are uh, we have to see what is the corresponding resistance here called r in f and uh, in the amplifier you can see that uh, input resistance it is having finite value output conductance it is having finite resistance. Uh, so, uh, we are of course, uh, here the signal it is current and here also the signal it is current. Uh, so, mm, the feedback network on the other hand to start with we are considering ideal one. So, if it is current here signal it is current here uh, to have zero loading effect we want the input resistance should be zero 
Of course, the load resistance to start with without having any um, loading effect we consider R L also equal to 0 and here the signal it is current. So, we are considering 0 conductance or we can say that the output resistance of the feedback network R out beta it is infinite. So, uh, what I like to say here uh, to summarize that we are considering R in and R out of the forward amplifier but we are still keeping the feedback network in ideal situation. And uh, uh, to start with, we are also considering load resistance equals to 0. Now, to find the input resistance, probably we can stimulate this port by voltage, uh, but uh, it is since we are considering this is ideal um, uh, source, we uh, need to stimulate this uh, port by say current or I should say it is rather more convenient to get the derivation. If you want, you can stimulate this uh, input port by a voltage source and then you can observe the corresponding current as we have done for the uh, previous two examples, uh, but I think uh, this may be having uh, relatively uh, simpler uh, derivation. So, uh, at the input port, we are stimulating uh, this port by I s and we are observing the corresponding developed voltage called V s and uh, then the input resistance of the feedback system it is the developed voltage divided by the stimulating current I s. Now, to find this uh, ratio uh, we need to find the corresponding relationship and again uh, what we will be considering here it is um, uh, you consider uh, the voltage here and then we can see the voltage here it is the summation of uh, these two or we can say that I s it is summation of this current and this current. Okay. So, either way it is uh, possible, uh, but let me uh, just start with say I s equals to I in plus this I f the feedback current and that feedback current it is beta into I x. So, we can say this is I in plus beta into uh, I x and I x it is same as whatever the current we do have because we do not have any resistance here and we do not have any resistance here. In fact, both of them are equal to internally developed uh, current. So, I x equals to so I in plus beta into uh, I x it is A i the current gain of the current amplifier multiplied by I in. So, that is giving us I s equals to I in multiplied by 1 plus beta into A i. Now, uh, if you see the, the voltage V s and uh, this I in and R in. So, since it is a parallel connection, the voltage getting developed across this R in it is same as this V s. So, we can say that uh, this V uh, V s equals to I in multiplied by R in or we may say that I in equals to V s divided by R in. So, then I s equals to V s divided by R in multiplied by 1 plus beta into A i. In fact, from here we can get the um, feedback system resistance which is defined by V s divided by I s and that is equal to R in divided by 1 plus beta into A i. So, that is the expression of the uh, input resistance of the feedback system. Now, <coughs> similar to the previous example, you let you consider the loading effect and to start with if I consider we do have R L here if I say that this is non-zero, 
So, naturally the um, I O and I X both I X equals to I O both of them it will be a reduced version of the internally developed current I A I multiplied by I in multiplied by R out divided by R out plus R in. So, similar to the previous case here let you consider this factor it is part of the load affected current gain A i dashed multiplied by then I in, where A i dashed equals to A i the internal current gain multiplied by the attenuation factor R out divided by R out plus R in. Now, following the same procedure uh, we can get the uh, expression of uh, R in f uh, the in terms of R in and the desensitization factor. So, R in divided by 1 plus beta into A i dashed, where A i dashed it is given here. So, in case if we have R l it is non zero, so that is the expression of the input resistance you will be getting. Now, if I consider uh, say um, uh, this um, input resistance of the feedback network it is non zero and if I say this is R in beta which is non zero, then uh, the current here current expression of I x and I o it will be similar only thing is that along with R l I have to consider this R in beta also because that is coming in uh, in, in series with R l. So, I have to consider this R in of beta and let me call then this is A i double dashed where the expression of A i double dashed it is A i multiplied by R out divided by R out plus R l plus R in beta and so that is how the expression of the uh, whole system it is getting changed. So, you can get this expression. Now, uh, if I consider this part it is finite which means that if I consider it is having some finite resistance getting connected. So, what will be its consequence that um, the um, uh, this resistance it is coming in parallel. So, we can say that input resistance here it is um, uh, whatever the resistance it was there and then we do have this resistance coming in parallel. So, if I call this is R out beta then the, the, the complete resistance R in f it will be uh, R in divided by 1 plus beta into A double dashed uh, A i double dashed in parallel with in parallel with uh, R out beta. So, uh, again for this case uh, you might have observed that because of the shunt connection the input resistance input resistance got decreased and the decreased the factor it is the desensitization factor 1 plus beta into A whether we call A or A dash or A double dash and also uh, in case if you have uh, R out beta then also you have to consider that as well. Now, uh, here the signal it is of course, it is in the form of current the situation it will be very similar uh, in case if we have uh, the uh, signal here it is voltage and of course, if it is voltage and then if the input signal it is remaining current then the corresponding amplifier it will be different then feedback connection it will be different, but there also we will see that input resistance it will be getting decreased by desensitization factor because of the parallel connection. However, um, the corresponding loop gain it will be different its expression it will be different. Note that both A i in this case in the present case where signal here and signal here both are current uh, 
uh, both E i and beta they are unitless. Once we go to uh, the other amplifier where input is current and output it is voltage, obviously then the, the, uh, the amplifier gain uh, which is converting current into voltage it is essentially trans impedance. So, the corresponding circuit it is given in the next slide. So, here we do have the trans impedance amplifier. So, uh, in the circuit, so this is a trans impedance amplifier and its corresponding feedback it is of course, it is sampling voltage and then uh, mixing in the form of current. So, this feedback system it is voltage shunt feedback or we may say it is shunt shunt feedback. In this case, again to start with, we consider uh, input resistance and output resistance of the transconductance amplifier. Uh, however, we are starting with ideal feedback network, namely its input condition and output port condition, it is, uh, it is um, avoiding, uh, helping to avoid loading effect. Namely, the input resistance, it is infinite and the output conductance is 0 or output resistance is infinite. And uh, here of course, um, uh, since the signal it is in the form of voltage to avoid loading effect, we consider R L it is infinite. So, if I consider this R L it is infinite, then um, at this port whatever the, uh, the uh, voltage you will be getting, sorry I will make a correction here, I have committed a mistake. Uh, since this is Thevenin equivalent model, please consider this resistance coming in series with this. So, let me correct it. Instead of having this resistance, what I mean it is the resistance it is here R out. Okay. So, uh, since I consider R L it is uh, infinite, so we can say that V O it is same as internally developed voltage namely Z M into I in and that is also equal to V X. And uh, if I consider on the other uh, side the input port uh, to get the expression of uh, this current, the total current I s is equal to I in plus I f and I f it is equals to beta into V x I in plus beta into V x and expression of V x it is given there. So, we can say this is I in plus beta into Z m trans impedance gain into I in. So, I s equals to I in multiplied by 1 plus beta into Z m. On the other hand, um, here relationship among uh, V s R in and I in, it is given by, um, let me write here. V s equals to I in multiplied by R in or R I in equals to V s divided by R in. So, this is V s by R in multiplied by 1 plus beta into Z m. Now, again the definition of the input resistance of the feedback system, it is ratio of V s divided by I s and from here we can say this is equal to R in divided by 1 plus beta into Z m. So, this is what we have written that the input resistance of the feedback system, it is R in divided by beta into Z m. And uh, similar to the uh, previous case, if we start considering the loading effect, namely if I consider uh, this um, uh, R l it is finite, 
and then if I consider this resistance also and then if I consider uh, the internal conductance here uh, namely both of them are finite R L it is also finite then we can get the derivation of input uh, resistance uh, going to R in divided by 1 plus beta into Z m where Z m it is taking care of the loading effect due to R L finite R L. So, uh, let me uh, um, consider that the expression of okay, again I have to make this correction and then if I consider this R L it is finite then the input resistance of the feedback system it will be given by this where Z m dashed it is load affected trans impedance and when I say load affected it is basically whatever the attenuation factor we do have here that we need to consider along with the original Z m. So, Z m dashed it will be Z m multiplied by R L divided by R out um, plus R L. On the other hand if I consider if I consider this resistance also it is finite. So, if I consider that then the corresponding Z m need to be replaced by Z m double dashed and its expression it is Z m multiplied by this um, R L coming in parallel with R in beta divided by R out plus R L coming in parallel with R in beta. So, why we have to consider the, these are in parallel? That is because uh, this resistance and this resistance they are coming in parallel. So, the voltage getting developed here which is V O which is of course, reduced version of internally developed voltage. So, the V O it is um, Z m multiplied by I in multiplied by parallel connection of R L and R in beta. So, this is R in beta and divided by of course, R out plus R L in parallel with R in beta and the corresponding input resistance it will be this one. Now, if I consider this also which means if I consider this resistance also then that resistance also coming in parallel. So, um, I think um, uh, that is how we can calculate the corresponding input resistance of the feedback system. Uh, so, if we consider the previous cases probably I I can see one small mistake I have done. Yeah, in this case, when I explained um, that uh, the we do have R L here, we do have this resistance and this resistance, then the input resistance of the feedback system it is. 1 plus beta into A V double dashed plus this R O R out of beta. This beta of course, it is remain should remain unchanged, it should not be beta dashed because the effect of this one I am I, I already have considered here. Uh, on the other hand, effect of R in beta and this R L, they are considered in this a v double dashed, where a v double dashed it is a v multiplied by r l in parallel with r in beta as it has been discussed divided by r out plus r l in parallel with r in beta. Yeah, the mistake I have committed before it is that I said it is 
beta dashed, but actually it is not beta dashed. I think uh, that is all we have to discuss, but of course, then we have to consider uh, the other feedback uh, rather all this feedback circuit to find what will be the consequences in the output resistance. So, so far we are talking about input resistance. Now, uh, we can also see the change in the um, output resistance. Uh, before we go into this, uh, please let me take a break and then we will see how to derive the corresponding output resistance. And um, sorry, I do not want to conclude, uh, I, let me cover that and then we will conclude. So, we will cover, we will discuss this one and then we will conclude. Thank you.